Today we're checking back in with Ethereum's ETH coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see ETH go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into Ethereum's ETH chart guys. If you're looking to buy ETH or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. And in our last video about a week ago, we thought we were certainly going to be falling into this downwards trending channel that we had previously broken out of. Fortunately though, we've somehow managed to bounce off our key level of support at $1,700 and five dollars and come back above that top line we're currently now sitting at a value of one thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars but we did rebound all the way over here on the 15th of may to a high of two thousand one hundred and sixty four dollars so interestingly enough it's looking like things are holding up for eth a bit better than some of our other coins but Realistically, you could say at this point in time, like many other coins, the same pattern has possibly formed itself. You've got that reverse flag pattern type format where it has broken the bottom end of that channel, as you can see, sort of a bit like that. Unfortunately, we are, I suppose, still moving overall in a downwards trajectory. And until the market recovers, obviously, Ethereum and ETHCoin itself are not going to recover until that happens. So all in all, not looking the best at this point in time. Volume-wise, though, uh, on that big red day, we did see a massive spike in volume. And since that point, it has been relatively small in comparison. So I'd say the market at this point in time is a bit careful in what they're doing with their money at the moment, whether they're buying or selling. There's not too much accumulation action going on at this point in time. Let's have a quick look, I suppose, at what we're seeing on the RSI as well as the MACD. So first and foremost, the RSI, we're still very, very low, as you would expect. The RSI is sitting at 32.48. We're now out of course of this oversold range as we anticipated, but we haven't really managed to, I suppose, make any headway in the pricing manner. So all in all, RSI is not showing too much. Realistically, the little bounce up means it can go back into the oversold portion again. So it's not really too helpful of an indicator for us at the moment. MACD wise, we are seeing that 12 day EMA and the 26 day EMA get closer and closer together. Now, what does that mean? Well, it looks like they're gonna touch. I don't think they're gonna cross though. And I think we're in for a bit more pain. So our prediction of where we were saying that possibly we're falling into that descending channel, I think that is still more than likely, but we're just, I suppose, waiting on when that is going to occur. I'm gonna extend as a result this top line out just so we can really gauge exactly how that looks. What we're probably going to see is, of course, we had that little flag break and then we're going to see a drop. We're either going to test and bounce or alternatively, we're going to just test and sort of drop straight through. And given the fact that we have had this horizontal support points here tested previously at $1,705 or realistically at $1,700, we probably will fall directly into this $1,560 range, unfortunately. So... I'd say my prediction at this point in time is we're gonna continue downwards and we're likely heading for, at one point or another, that $1,560 mark, unfortunately. That wraps up today's analysis on Ethereum's ETH coin, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.